Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this play review with me, boy FIFA 1 HD, where we'll be taking a look at the 88 rated third in form Quagliarella. Now, before we do, as always, if you enjoy the video, hit that like button as that will really help me out. And if you do have any questions at all, or maybe comments about this card, leave all of that in the comments below as I love reading what you guys have to say. So without further ado, we've seen the team that we've used him in, the position that we played him in. Now we're gonna have a look at his attribute details. And as you can see, there are some real standout areas. The shooting column and the dribbling column especially are fantastic. Yes, his pace does let him down a little bit for a striker, but overall it's not too bad. And you could definitely use this guy at cam, centre forward or striker with absolute ease. Plug the right chemistry style on him and you will definitely have no issues. As you can see, there's some great stats. His pace is okay, you know, acceleration there at 84 is alright. Sprint speed does let him down, however. Shooting column is exceptional throughout. 88 attack positioning. 86 finishing, then you throw in the 92 shot power, 94 long shots, the 90 on the volleys, and the 88 on the penalties, means that he is incredible at scoring goals. His passing column is also really neat and tidy, vision very strong there, crossing decent, long passing, also quite good, but free kick, short passing, and curve really do stand out. Dribbling wise, this guy is an absolute god there as well. Agility could be a little bit better, yes, but balance, reactions, ball control, dribbling and composure are all really good stats on this card. His hitting accuracy is quite decent too there at 81 with okay jumping at 79. Very good strength, however, which I absolutely loved about him with 87 overall. So now that we've seen those attribute details, guys, let's jump into some in-game footage and hear what I thought about him. So my thoughts on the 88 rated Qualiarella card were that he was absolutely brilliant. I loved using this guy so clinical in front of goal with such intelligent movement. He was always in the right spot. He made incredible runs so that anyone on the team could fight him. No matter how good they were at passing the ball, he made the right runs at the right time and it was very easy to play this guy through. And what I also loved about him was he was never offside. He always held his run and maybe yes, that is because he's not the quickest overall, but he always seemed to hold his run, wait for the perfect moment and then he'd be through gets himself in and he's just always in the right spot to score goals and he is incredible in front of goal. Very good attack positioning as we've just gone through. His one-on-one -on -one finishing is superb at 86. Shot power and long shots are also incredible which really does help on a slower player especially if you are playing in maybe at centre forward and cam as well. Just gives you that range of shooting from distance if maybe you can't quite get as close to goal as you would like to normally. Many will look at this card and be a little bit dubious about playing him up front. I played him at striker, I had no issues at all. His dribbling was so superb, his great movement allowed him to get in well. I had no problems playing him at striker, I thought he did a really good job. However, yes, you could play him at cam, no problem at all. Whack the right chemistry style on him and I think you'd really get a lot out of him there too. Because he's already got good vision, really nice range of passing and if you upped those areas also, then I think you would get a player that can shoot from distance, that can dribble, get himself out of tight situations and also link up the play, get players in and rack up a lot of assists along the way, giving you a great range of goals and assists and be a very creative player for your team. So the options really are there with this card and that's why he's so appealing. Whether you want to play him at cam, centre forward or striker, he will do you a great job because he guarantees goals. So, so good from a variety of angles, also decent in the air, great strength and hold up play. The fact that he's got the strength and he's got the dribbling ability means that he can get himself out of tight situations. He can work the ball well, create chances for others and create chances for himself. I thought he was incredible. Really, really fun player to use. Very consistent, really good. Yes, it would be lovely if he was faster, but I never really had too much of an issue with his pace. Obviously, if you play him at cam, his pace is actually pretty good in that sort of position. He finds the pockets of space that he needs to. He makes intelligent runs. I had no issues with the pace. I didn't need that too much. He was also very good with his dribbling. He comes with four-star skills, which is quite nice as well. So you will be able to get him into the box just with his dribbling alone at times, which is a really nice feature on the card. I thought he was brilliant. I'm sure you guys will too. Let me know what you think about him in the comments below. And peace.